some gems, guys. All right, give me a second as I open up Gems of War. Just to have some fun, these guys. I ain't got nothing else going on, so might as well play some games with y'all. Booyaka! In the meantime, I'll keep that Boy. over here. Oh, it's muted. Lisa. Hey, it works. So this is Gems of War, guys. I'm just gonna play a couple quick rounds because why not, right? Put that in the background so you guys can enjoy the Milltown background. I can still read chat while I'm playing. Got everything queued up. All right, guys. It's a lot to juggle, but I'm juggling it. Boy, I tell you what. I, I suppose I don't mind taking callers. I can, uh, I don't know what there is much to talk about. But, yeah, um, I'll drop a link in a second here, Huggy. Let me just play around with this real quick. I didn't know if Peepaw was streaming this morning. I didn't want to stream the same time as Peepaw, but, you know, I was going to go earlier, but. Mana surge. I'm so addicted to these games, man. I don't know what it is. And I know they're boring and corny, but they're like Mana the best surge. pastime games you can play. Mana surge. Mana surge. And watch now that. First time I play on stream, I'll get my ass kicked. Watch. It's looking that way. Yep. Yep. I'm getting my ass kicked. Yep. And that's how quick I get my ass kicked. I'm not even gonna watch it, guys. This guy's whooping my ass. Yeah, it's like Candy Crush Huggy, um, but it's like you battle as well. It's not just the main object is to to crack all these uh, gems, but you got to beat their squad of guys over here. Finally, my turn, and uh, there's no chance I'm going to win this. No chance at all. Yeah, I got one guy left. I'm just gonna call it. Mana surge. Mana surge. I shouldn't have been doing PvPs anyways. I should have been in my adventures. Doing my dailies. Yeah, if you like Candy Crush, you would really dig Gems of War, Huggy. So basically, my guys over here are basically green and purples is what I'm looking for right now. So I could do my specials. Mana surge. So I'm trying to match purples and greens. And if I can get some skulls, that's cool. Mana surge. And then see, like, this guy... I like him because he turns all yellows to purple, which Mana comes in handy. Then I can bust out my special on you. Got another one. Mana surge. It really looks cold. Uh, let me just uh, see if I can turn this audio on in the background here. And snow. Now the rain is not going to be exactly hit or miss in terms of showers. We have more of a That's what knocked our power out earlier was this damn rain. Right now, a couple areas will have some heavier showers, which is moving over Fort Act a break from some of the rain. You might be having some she got my level. fog, which would mean reduced visibility. So just plan for extra time today if you're going to be traveling out, especially earlier in the morning. We are already continuing to see temperatures drop. 47 out right now, so that's not too bad. 40s near the lakefront, low 40s inland, but our through the day today as this cooler air behind this front moves Sorry, through. So expect to have more of a low surge during the afternoon or we'll feeling more like in the mid-30s. Make sure you find a lot of when the rain moves out, the cold temperature moves in 
And there might be a chance of some snowflakes out there. We're going to break down that forecast. I don't even want to hear about snow. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Today is area. We rock this spectrum is hosting their grand opening celebration. But before the grand opening, we are giving you a sneak peek inside with Amy. Oh, hold Cole, up. Gotta go to the news real quick, guys. What are they location. talking about on the news? Amy, here? so good to see you once again. Can you kind of speak to what this day means to you personally? Grand opening of what? Um, yes, absolutely. Um, we're really excited to bring our gym to another community. We've, oh, a we've gym. been very blessed. I need to our first take gym my ass up to the in the West today. Bend area and are um, thrilled to be able to bring um, another gym of inclusion to our families that are in this area. I was talking with Darcy um, about trying to do like a biggest loser the for the commentary of community. The Spectrum gyms, but it was. It, it developed out of um, the need of a mother oh, to it's a gym find for a place autists. for both her neurodiverse and her neurotypical child to be able to play I'm together down. Um, and be, enjoy themselves. It's an autism um, gym. They didn't have a home to, you know, yeah. a place to play <laughs> and, and someplace fun to go to. So um, that's what we're all about here, and that's the excitement about being able to bring that to our community here. Um, we have so many different things. Does that, your city um, have a gym for autists? That. Mine um, now does. Um, kids what? Who are on the spectrum or uh, or neurodiverse, <laughs> and of course, all kids. Um, we do have a special place that I wanted to show you today. Um, it's our calming room. So for kids that calming, um, does your gym got a calming room? My gym with does. All of our bigger pieces of equipment. This is our calming room with, with our under the sea theme. Um, oh and shit! This was hand painted by a local artist, student artist, I should mention. I was about to say, yeah, that um, ain't no good art. Really <laughs> you could have got a way better artist. Kids. Is the um, artist on the spectrum is the question. Such a calming space. And then we also have um, headphones for kids if they do. Sorry, I'm being a dick. I know. Sensory, I'm sorry, guys. Um, sensitive to noise. We have headphones that the kids can wear um, throughout the gym. But a lot of times they sit in this calming room and just really relax. That we've got some fidget toys Why in go there. to the they gym then? Books in here or <laughs> Makes other no toys sense. from around the gym if they want to just hang out and chill out and relax. We also have a, okay. a little weighted blanket for kiddos. Um, again, just that call factor the for um, if they um, need something to help them. That is a cool idea, <clears> though. <throat> all right. A Amy, that's awesome. You know, it's just so amazing to see all the ways that you all are just adding inclusion. Yeah, into it is. Space. It's awesome. So we'll see you around 845. Thank you, Amy. Great. All right, let's go now to uh, adopt a pet. Yeah, excited to feature another pet this Adopt week. A pet. We have Angela Speed. How come all these Wisconsin news, especially Fox News, join us live via Skype to talk about how come it's always so corny? Dog that's up for adoption. Adopt a pet. So so dang corny, guys. It really it really. Is. Uh, let me just get out of that and uh, pull up the game. Uh, which one was it? I forget what button I set the game on. There we go. Back to my game, guys. Sorry. I didn't mean to distract you guys, but I keep the news on in the background, and if something comes up that looks good, I uh, go to it. New York news? Okay. Yeah, that there. <laughs> It's crazy the the diversity you get like in different people's news stations, you know. Like I was saying the other day as I was watching my weather, I was like, leave, we're here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We're the dairy, you know, we're all about dairy and everything. Leave it to us. Our weather girl is like super chubby and everything else, but like in all the other states, they got like attractive weather girls with big butts and stuff. Leave it to the Wisconsin weather girl to be like a real chubby person. Morning paradox. Uh, we're just hanging out, vibing out. That's all we're doing. Nothing going on. It's a lazy Saturday. I was uh I gave a brief recap about that whole Jeremy Hales bullshit about how he's in contempt with court right now for still filming that neighbor of his. Um, so that was pretty good. But other than that, I'm just vibing out, enjoying my Saturday morning, playing a little gems of war. I got my ass spanked right when I turned it on, trying to show Mass off. Surge. I win.
so far behind in this game right now. It's unreal. It is it's ridiculous. Look at that weather, guys. Rain, rain, rain. It's not stopping. Ugh. You would think, and then they say it's going to turn to snow. See what I mean? Our weather girl isn't, like, super thin and petite. She's kind of uh, bigger. Damn, coffee gives me a heartburn. And it's just got some uh, Splenda in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't catch a break this morning. You streamed last night, Huggy? I gotta catch that. What was your topics? What did you talk about? Tis the season to be streaming. Fa la 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 la. Mana Surge. Hmm. Mana Surge. Yeah, I, I hardly ever get notifications for a Huggy either. What did Ember do now, Huggy? She's always doing something, or she's always fighting with somebody. Mana last surge. time I noticed she was beefing with uh, Leah, or Leah snapped on her the last I checked. Surge. Yeah, what is that wall smash? That wall smashers is uh, Demented's new show, right? How is that going? Somebody said that wall smashers got like a privacy complaint or something. Was that you, Huggy, that filed the complaint on that show? Somebody was saying it was you, Huggy. intellectual okay so it's it's huggy demented and triton so who submitted the privacy complaint on that episode i saw badwick had posted something about it mana surge Oh, you still don't know. Okay. But they didn't say what it was for? Because usually they give you a chance to, like, use the studio tools to remedy Mana whatever surge. it was. Ah. Uh, yeah, that would make sense if it was Josh. Ebber's known to do stuff like that, from what I understand. Allegedly. I can't say it was her, you know. Uh, I was always... Slug always makes it known that Ember Mana reports surge. shit, but... Lately, Slug's kinda sluggy. Yeah, that's what I saw. I saw that you got your revenge. So I assumed it was because you, you did that privacy thing, but I guess not. I'm gonna have to check this Wall Smashers out. I've kind of been um, anti-demented as of late. So I, I, that's the kind of my petty reason why I haven't checked it out yet. But uh, I'll set that aside for you, Huggy, and I'll check it out. Critical hit. Demented back in the commentary community. Hey, more power to him. He can make it work. Mana surge. Mana surge. <laughs> Paradox, I slipped through everything. Oh, 
yes. It's just like that. I win. I win. I know you guys are probably bored. I'm sorry to bore you. It's Saturday. I'm not really uh I'm not really gung ho to entertain today. I'm just kind of vibing out, if y'all don't mind. So whose channel is is the Smasher show on? Is that on Badwick's channel? Okay. Abby. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Rumor has it that Badwick's going to be doing uh, like a family feud type deal coming up soon. It's going to be Team Badwick, I guess. Uh, I think, I don't know if I should even talk about that. I don't know if Badwick announced it, so I'm not even going to say anything. But I do believe there's going to be like some, some games on the Badwick uh, channel pretty soon. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I myself am going to be participating. Let me hold on. Let me try to pull up this bet, this wall smashers. Why not, eh? One second. Let me pull this up here. Where did my audio go? God damn it. She froze up. Oh, there you go. God damn it, David. Your computer's running like poop yet again. Fix it. Fix your computer, foo. It's a pretty good artwork, though, not gonna lie. Let me turn the quality down. So I do got my game going. I got an OBS going. Shit's going everywhere. And I only got a fucking... Do I even got your AMD Ryzen 5? I only got... Welcome back, everybody, to our second episode of Wall Smashers! Two weeks later! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm joined tonight with... Badwick shot out of a cannon. Or otherwise known as Spanky Hancock. Yeah, motherfucker. We got Trident here tonight. And then we got... Oh, yeah, motherfuckers. Hollywood Huggy returning after a brief retirement huggy, huggy, <laughs> well, huggy, huggy, huggy. <laughs> how are you guys all huggy. doing all right that was that was a hype intro i gotta give it to you guys for that that was pretty pretty hype i'm, I'm a fan of that I'll, I'll give you guys that intro was really good great great i'm doing fine huggy then yeah, huggy's okay. all monotone and you, uh... let me tell you about the red white and blue Spanky, you were uh, you were on Turd Island last night, so I'm aware of how you're roughly doing. How Turd do you, Island uh, is awesome. I liked it. So, Spanky, how do you feel that um, you're arguably viewed still as a terrible person, but not worse than Slug? Ow. Well, I mean, that's fair. I mean, I'm in my bed. I'm a laying. Were Were you trying to be like the worst person though? Like now with this whole like I'm a bad person. <laughs> no. I'm a bad. Well, it comes off that way where you're like I'm like. I did all these terrible things, and I've done this and this. Well, I'm just going to say it. It sounds like, uh, if that's demented, it sounds like his balls finally dropped while he was on hiatus. Sounds like he finally hit puberty. It sounds like his voice got a little deeper uh, while he was gone from the commentary community. 
either that or he's trying to be this mr mr grown-up man who who is not above lying about having a dead baby mama and being a drug addict and all the other shit he lied about and this and no one should like forgive me and no one should i'm sorry me, and no one should like it's me. just me everyone's like you need to forgive you need to forgive him for real why would i want to forgive a guy who made lies up about that kind of stuff the man lied and said he was a drug addict the guy lied and said his wife died in his arms or his his baby mama died in his arms that the baby died in his arms um it, it it's like why would i want to forgive and then mind you he did this on my channel and i made a video thinking oh man poor this guy poor this guy and it's like just because he thinks he's learned his lesson i'm supposed to be like all right man come on back into my world like man fuck you bro i mean badwick can do that all he wants but but badwick you think badwick buys his bullshit i bet you badwick him and Kaylee probably laugh about this fucking fool behind his back. They probably sit here and be like, who does this fucking asshole think he's fooling? We should make a game up right now. As I watch this or as I listen to this Wall Smashers episode, let's catch how many times this fucker lies or how many lie, how many whenever he speaks let's let's see if it sounds like it's a lie because i mean there's no way to tell the truth right now right like we can't absolutely 100 percent know if he's lying but I, if it sounds too good to be true with with demented's past uh track record it's probably too good to be true huggy how many times <laughs> yeah how many times do you think he lies during this wall smasher episode i bet you everything that comes out of this fucker's mouth is a goddamn lie I guess we'll have to find out. Talking Sorry, you guys, awesome. you guys got me off. This is why I didn't want to listen to this. It's like, whenever I hear Demented's name, I get set off because he really fucked me good. He really fucked me over real good. My own, I guess. That's fair. You know what? That's the honest answer. I, I, I do. Exactly, that. Paradox. Uh, Triton. So last time we were in a call together, you were actually on Turn Island two weeks ago. And you got... And now I don't know much about Triton. I've I've maybe had two conversations with the guy. Um, seems like an okay guy. Uh, I've had him, you know, a couple of my friends talk to him for me, and they told me there was nothing really of interest with the guy. I never, you know, I probably should have took the time to get to know him. Maybe in the future I will. Uh, but let's see what bad we can get out of him. And I know Huggy, uh, you're kind of like the. The com I don't want to say comedic relief because you're probably the most knowledgeable as far as commentary. You and Badwick, I think you and Badwick could just do the show alone, in my opinion. But uh, let's go on. Got into a whole spat with Leia something and a few other people on the panel. How do you feel about all that, man? Yeah, he'll ne he. Not everybody's gonna forgive this fucking guy. I mean, I feel like they're all trying to pen pen everything. Uh, that another man does on me it's like i don't i'm not huge in his daddy like i don't like i told huge and hey don't stop doxing and you mm. know if he still does it like that's not huge i can't control that you know yeah so i don't even keep up with what he does because like i showed the dms on like, like toad island that i barely talked so I'm like, I don't hate him or nothing. Like, I think he's a good guy. But you will. Like, I can't you control will. his actions. I'm not his dad. Plus, they're like, oh, why don't you make a video on Huge? And he's he's a small channel. No offense to him. But it's like, well, I'm not going to criticize a small channel. I want to go for the bigger channels, you know? Yeah, no, <laughs> that, that's part of the game. All right. Well, look here. How Triton, Um, I don't know how, I, how to even say this. He hasn't. Wait till you do something that. Hugin doesn't like. Literally, I liked a person's tweets. I liked Parking Tiger's tweets, and I got disowned by Hugin, and uh, it's been hell for me ever since then. That was my cardinal sin, is I seriously liked Parking Tiger's tweets. So um, just wait till you do something that Hugin don't like, what that Hugin doesn't like, and then uh, then come talk to me. Uh, yeah, until then, it is what it is, guy. Uh, I was once in Team Twitter Geek as well. Um, and I wrote pretty hard for, for Mr. Uh, 
No, I'm not even going to go there. I rolled pretty hard for uh, Kyle. And uh, I'm not going to do that. Exactly, Paradox. Uh, it was a W. Uh, I've come to realize that everything that everybody said about this guy, especially Abby, you know, and I, I do not one to, like, kiss up to Abby ever or what happened with Abby and me is is whatever, but um, she told me how it is with good old uh, Hugin and, and how things went bad between them. And the exact same thing that happened... Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. The same thing that happened with um, Abby and Hugin happened with me. So I, I can understand how uh, Abby's feelings are towards Hugin. And uh, Hugin's got a long way to go if he's ever going to want real friends in this community. That's all I'll say on that. I don't know why my computer's hey, tweaking out, guys. That, it's acting real weird. Missed? Oh, I lost my... Like, associate, like, lumped in with him by default now? Like, does it actually piss you off? And it makes me a little mad because it's like, I can't control what he does. It's like, if you have a problem, go to him, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I don't control what he does. Like, I don't even, like, talk to him that much. I mean, like, I don't hate him. Like, we're still on good terms, but it's like, I wouldn't call him my friend because like someone that's my friend like i call like every day or like yeah i text him every day like i don't talk i don't call, i i only had like two calls with huge in so it's like i'm not like his friend i'm more of like an acquaintance you know he's like he's a guy that I so like i see that's cool so i talk to him sometimes you know sorry about that guys so one of the questions on that turd island from a few people was um did you Why are like, you buffering? Do you disavow what he does. And there was like, you didn't have, like, it, it took a lot of poking at you. Well, I don't know about that you. paradox. I'm sorry, well, I don't mean to pause this, but I gotta like, pause. It's like so many, it's, it's cause it's like. I've, I've met some pretty good people online paradox. Um, the people that you break that barrier with, like once I feel, once you make it to that Facebook level, where, you know, you start having, you know, real conversations with these people and you let them into your real life, then I think um, they actually become friends. You know, uh, when I was younger, it, talking online was more taboo. But now it's it's not that big of a deal. And it's not that uncommon to meet somebody in Australia, for example, and, you know, to have daily conversations with them. They really can become your friends in the long run. And uh, I think I have made some friends. I, I can say that. Um, it's a good feeling. What about you, Huggy? Would you say you've made some real friends in this space? Well, check the chat for how these so many people, like they, they did not let me talk on that Turd Island at all. So it's like they wouldn't even let me get that point out. Okay. But, well, nobody can talk I mean, on yeah, Turd Island. Like, if Hugin is like, which I know he dogs slugs pants, I 100% disavow that. And I well, tell it to, he's done that's he it had, to him. He like, did do yeah. that. Oh. There's like a list of people, man, like Parking Tigers. Yeah. Dog. And, tell him, yeah, and I just tell him, bad way. And, mm -hmm. and I told him, which I don't want to like, disclose too much, but like I told him, I was like, I was like, why are you, why are you like doxing? He told me. Uh oh, you know, paradox. They dox me Makes first, me wonder so who know, you're talking like, about. Parking tigers, like, from the record I know, like, I don't have a problem with parking either. Like, I'm like neutral and all that, you know, I'm staying out of that because okay. I'm, you know, I was, like, I'm on good talking terms with both huge and parking. Mm -hmm. But like, apparently, morning, Courtney. Done at the huge and too. So it's like, it's two people doxing each other. It's like both of them should be disavowed, in my opinion. You know, yeah. Doesn't well, matter who did who did it first or not. Well, so we go back to this doxing debate again. It's like doxing bad. If you're going to dox, you're done. Um, it should be that simple, guys. Like, how come we have to keep? Well, if he really did that, if if that's the case. That is the case. So disown them. Be done with it. Why do we have to put criteria and qualifiers? I I don't get it. Some people are like, they just don't want. Just say I don't. I I I forgive the guy for doxin, or it doesn't bother me. What you're like, you're trying to put these qualifiers on it so you can keep that quote unquote friendship. But it's like, 
<sighs> doxing is bad. Doxing bad. Simple, right? Simple. Sorry, I don't mean to go on these tirades, but it's like I'm listening to these people talk, and besides like Huggy and Badwick, I'm like, where's the intelligence? Come on, Triton. You, oh, we thought you were more intelligent. We thought you had more to offer a conversation than. Well, if that's the case, that is the case. But you're still talking to him, so paradox. <laughs> Oh man, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, let's go back to this guy. I'm sorry, I'm getting angry, man. That's always uh, with like huge in and like the few times we spoke and then seeing a few of his tweets was always like kind of the um, the eye for eye perspective and like yeah. And then he'll he'll tell you that with the, like the community arguing against like hypocrisies that exist within it and all that stuff. Um, which he's not wrong, like, a community does have hypocrisies, but, like, my criticism, mm -hmm. like, for him, it's, like, you know, he wants, like, he shouldn't be down and dirty like they are, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's why I told him, it's like, you're down, you be, you being down and dirty like these people are, it'll make people think you're just as bad, if not worse than them. So, okay, what is, like, uh, there you go, there's a good line, Triton, okay. Or, like, a, like if you want to name some hypocrisies. In your opinion, because like, 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 it's like a big, like, you mean like a commentary? Yeah, because like you're arguably considered like the anti commentary guy in this group. The big example, big example is like the zero Zaptai things. Like, mm -hmm. Zaptai did the same thing as zero. So it's like, for me, I don't think he, I, I don't can't think speak on that. I don't know nothing about take. that. Don't let me on Twitter about it, but like, <laughs> I don't think any of them are on this. It's like, it's like you gotta pick one though. It's like you gotta pick one. Like if you're arguably good faith, it's either both are pedos or none are pedos. That's how I see it. Have you seen Can we stop talking about people? fucking pedophiles? I'm sick and tired of seen, hearing about like, fucking a pedophiles. Few, um people describe them both as pedos. Like I know I think a Michael Alberto's described them both as pedos. Okay. I know Grimsy has. Like a few people have, but like nobody in commentary. Like, it's mainly people in anti-commentary that's describing them both yeah. as pedos, which I think ne it's I think neither are pedos. And Technicals himself thinks neither oh, are pedos Oh, I hate that either. fucking word. Even a lot of people want to say, oh, Technicals called Zaptop pedo, which that's not true. But the point is, it's Didn't like, you, do it on the live you know. Stream? Oh. I'm like in debates. I'm making a, a thing right now. If anybody mentions that word on my, like, if you call in or in my chat, if you say the P word, Man, I'm gonna ban you <laughs> just because I hate that fucking word with a passion. Uh, there's no room for that in this community. I'm sick of hearing about it. I'm sick of hearing everybody allege that other people are one. It's it's fucking disgusting. Find something else to talk about. That shit is sickening, and uh, I just don't want it on my channel. So ugh, I'm sick of hearing about fucking pedophiles. He's never on oh, my vape. Michael, that was Michael Alberto. That was not technicals. That was my. Now, if I can't get this buffering so fixed, I'm going to shoot myself -commentary? in Minecraft. Still of course. Do commentary, so how are they anti I mean, I don't like I'm not like, like Is that I shadow. Last was that matches, shadow humor. I'm not like I don't think and I don't think it should be called anti commentary. I think it's just, you know, what, like regular commentary people that criticize bigger channels, you know? So, like, anti-commentary is, like, a niche name that some people have used, but it's basically, like, you have, like, the small Twitter commentary. It's basically the sector. That's what yeah, it is. Sector. It's, that's what, that's, like, I like the, like, I just call them all, like, I loop them all in with the sector, because that's what the sector is, is people that have, like... Um, I'm still trying to figure out who sector is. But they also have issues with, like, big comment, like, other commentary mm -hmm. channels so i call them the sector just because you know it's more like blood sports ish too but yeah i call it the sector like that's a better name than like anti-commentary anti-commentary technically doesn't exist like the name the better name for it yeah that's ew, yeah, i hate like it the official, which is the one thing about it. this community like, i can't stand basically yeah. like the group that doesn't necessarily agree or um see eye to eye it's not like, like we hate comment yeah it's not like we hate commentary itself it's just the people in it like we don't like well it, Boy, it, badwick, like the keemstar badwick sure is becoming a good host like he really is getting good man 
Like I, I've for the past like six months, I've it's been like, like following Bad Wick, and he's getting like, so good. You don't like the like the people that surround themselves with like Keith okay, stuff. Ethan Ralph fans. It's, it's I, like I was assuming like that. Buddha, yeah. Augie, Bo- like Bob the commentary Blacks, bro. Nicholas so Stewart, like, like the whole like y'all are like squad the commentary people. rebels. Is that shadow humor? Can somebody tell me if that's shadow humor or not? Where did shadow come from? Did anybody, nobody announced him. He's just like there. <laughs> shadow humor just comes out of nowhere. Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> shadow for the W. Well, they're more like the Ethan Ralph side of stuff. <laughs> okay, there you go. Ethan Ralph. I mean, gotcha. Trey, you could disagree with it, but like Ethan Ralph's on that side of the fucking feds. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and they tend to be yeah, uh, paradox. Like, like Triton is right. Like the blood sports tend to be way more extreme. Like they tend to be way more edgier with they, what they say or say and do. Because like I find like uh like we want if we want to like quotation call like mainstream commentary, small commentary, it, it's very like what the fuck is wrong with my friendly. Babe? It's very um I don't I, I don't want to say like soft, but it, it it's it's no, I would call it soft. Like, Good call, bad way. Yeah, it's it's soft, softer. Though, like that. a lot of them. Like the problem is, it's like they claim like they claim like they allow criticism to them, but like when you criticize them on Twitter, they'll like instantly like block you. Blocking doesn't mean it's and that's what I don't like, dude. Not. Well, well, in my opinion, these bigger creators they block because they have a brand, they have a reputation. They cannot, you know, it's like when you start rolling snow downhill, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Why not stop that snowball very at the right at the top of the hill before it gets any momentum and gets any bigger? That's why these bigger creators are so quick to use that block button. And it's like, can you really blame them when they're they're making their living? You know, their mortgage payments and everything depend on their reputation and their videos so it's like i can't really um it's your sign to quit vape life i, I suppose it, it it is i my vape has been talking crap for like the past four days um but so like i i can understand why these big creators are so liberal with that block button you know us smaller creators we put up with it because we're trying so hard to to earn viewers. We're, we're working our ass off to gain you uh, as a supporter. We're willing to put up with more. As these bigger creators, they don't have to do that as much anymore. They have the, the viewer base. So why stop these lies and all this stuff right at the start? So that's the bigger difference, in my opinion, is like us smaller creators... We're trying to garner your respect, and we need you more than these bigger creators need need somebody that's more outspoken. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Um, let's go back to this. You know, this is actually a pretty good discussion you guys got going on here. I mean, and I, I know, I know that, but it's like, but they could morning, lady like nerd artist. Noodles that like gave deaf noodles a hard time and made memes on deaf noodles for blocking people over criticism, but they do the same. That's another hypocrisy too. It's like. How can you go and say like Def Noodles, H3? Well, Def Su- Noodles blocks Su- everybody, Rude, anyways. He's blocked you know, me like, too, they I think. They can't block people, but you guys can block people for the same reasons. Like, well, that Susie, doesn't make Susie sense. Susie Lou isn't like commentary. She is like fucking straight. Like, yeah, but they was, criticize. Yeah, because she is like. Yeah, but they criticize her for blocking like she's people for criticism. Insane. Though that's she's not. She's not even in commentary. And they're like, oh, you can't block people with, uh, like for criticism. But then they do the same thing. Like, they act like Susie Lou. Like, I, I they think... act like the people they criticize. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 like, Susie Lou's, like, I don't know. I don't think she's a good example. Because <laughs> um, she's, like you said, she's not really, like, commentary. Uh, she's is just. I mean, Death Noodles would be, like, Death a better example. I Ethan, think Death Noodles and Ethan Ethan Klein. Klein. Yeah. Well, Jeff Jeff like Noodles like, teeters between the two, yeah, in my does. opinion. Like, he's he he's big dude. commentary, yeah, but he can like, still yeah, again, like, hang out with smaller out. niche commentary. Keemstar blocks people, which I'm so... yeah. Like, Keemstar like, will block anybody. Like, Keemstar is on their side, like like they like all prop up Keemstar, but they don't criticize Keemstar when he blocks people. But don't you think like, Nicholas Yoyo also blocks people too? And that's the thing. Nick, Nick is like, Nick blocks anybody. Anything. Yo, wait, what did you do? I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Um, Which I heard, like... Me too, Paradox. Like, me you, too. Like, what did you do to him? Did y'all have fast beef? I didn't He's know. really I kind of... He goes I, up I, and I down. I think maybe it was possibly because of Salvo. 
like earlier on like Def Noodles really he uh Def Noodles he has his good moments and his bad moments like he was on a really good streak there uh after his apology and then you know these past 2 3 months he hasn't done anything and it's like he has it in him to do amazing work it's like i don't know if it's laziness or if he just lost the love of it all uh remind you guys the year-end awards end tomorrow so make sure you vote today awards the voting ends tomorrow and then um the awards are on the 16th so please make sure you get your votes in before we hop back into this i just wanted to remind you guys lady nerd Art says why the hell is Susie lou being brought up yeah good question um, I don't know much about Suzy Lou. I need to get more in depth and learn about Suzy Lou. Um, yeah, something to remind me. I need to learn about Suzy Lou, guys. Back to the wall smashers. Like around fireball, like um, with that ship. I, I don't know, actually, because I follow his like personal account. But um, I follow his personal account too. But I know he really he doesn't really like me because I'm on the sector side. But yeah, I don't but know. But he lets what, me on his personal account. When it comes to blocking, I don't really... I used to be, like, kind of one of those guys where it's like, oh, if you get the block, you win sort of thing, or like... Oh, um, I, to me, it doesn't I matter. Just I just think, I think... I mean, I don't care, like, you know, if people block me, that's fine, but it's like, don't go around and call other people pussies for blocking. Like, that's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, like, good I'm call. Not, yeah, I'm I'll agree with that. Fagging about, like... Who, who, like, in your... Yeah, exactly. Doesn't... Hugin. Like, Hugin is notorious for that. Hugin, he, and he'll even, Hugin will screenshot it, and then he'll post the screenshot, and like he'll wear it like a badge of honor. Like, I won because I got you to block me, and it's like, bro, come on now, man. What are we, fucking 10? It's fucking the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Good call, lady. I like that. <laughs> woke up and chose violence. I'm with you on that one. Calls people pussy. I woke like up and chose people, coffee. But then also blocks people. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't do like I don't block anybody. It's not an own huggy. Like, I agree with you. It's it's stupid. It's some kid the, shit. One of the hypocrisies is that they do it. So like, who doesn't? Yeah. Who like in your opinion? Um, Nicholas D. All right, Nicholas Nicholas mm -hmm. Oyo, Tipster, Exiley, Tipster's Chris the Nart. Chris the Nart. Exiley play? does it. Like, yeah. Chris but has been I'm actually doing his own not thing lately. Interact with them for real. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know what I did, but like, I didn't even. Inter Maybe because my association with like technicals and salvo. That's probably what. Okay. All right. But um, like, I'm blocked by him. Keemstar does it a lot. Like, he wants to. He used to call Ethan Klein a big post. I miss seeing Keemstar's tweets. I don't. Like I don't see the same thing. I don't see any Keemstar tweets anymore. Which Bullblox also does it too. Bullblox blocked me too, just because I called him out for being in the group chat leaks. So here's something funny. So some of these like sectors, Warren and Vic, or like these like anti commentary people. I'm blocked by Ethan Ralph. Ethan Ralph got pissed off at me. I am also blocked by um, Pestacor, which. So was Ethan Ralph big at one point? Is he still big? I I don't know much about Ethan Ralph. I need to get, learn about him as well. And he he does he live in like a foreign country or something? The block like kind of an argument debate because like sometimes people just block people because they're fucking annoying. Farting is healthy. And like they spam. I, I'm, like, I'm that was down why block. Good Slug was like one of the only people know, I've ever breaking blocked. of wind. And it was because he just spam. Oh, he still blocks. You no, still, no, 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 no. I, I, Slug's blocked. unblocked on all my stuff now because I don't like playing the telephone game. I'd rather someone have to reach out to me. They just fucking reach out to me. I think anyone that has <laughs> exactly. to play the telephone I agree game with you on that bad people, way. Journa drama, it's a little bit pussy like. But, um, yeah, no, if Slug was like, the only person like, I've blocked about Ethan on Ralph Twitter that, are good. That, have, that I've blocked right now if you have is Joshua Putman because he wants to stop spamming me. And like he would stop like I literally Vic. gave him like well I was like I don't want to do it but like he kept on like adding me adding me adding me like I would get like I would open my Twitter and I would get like a thousand note like no yeah. joke like a doubt like a hundred to like a thousand notifications all by Joshua Pitt. I'm like I'm blocking all your alt accounts I'm sorry like I don't want to get 
these yeah. notifications. Oh, like, man. I just got pissed off, and I just I had I had to. And all we did is just because he would spam at me, like, constantly. So, I, I want to ask you, though, like, do you agree with any of the criticism, though, Triton? Like, you're, like, are you aware of, like, so on that turn island when people are coming at you for that stuff, like, are you able to, like, put yourself in their shoes and understand their criticism, though? Not really, just because yeah, it's, like... Yeah, for sure. Just because it's, like, I'm not really, I'm like, only gonna go through a couple more minutes like, of this lady nerd artist. He, I didn't want to like, play I'm the whole thing. Other turn it's just a, mm -hmm. I, I got interested I when did, Huggy started like, talking about it. Even then, I was, like, I don't really know what's going on, and, like, I didn't know, like, all that stuff at the time, because I don't really, like, pay attention, like, huge in that much yeah it's not because like i don't like it's just wait a minute wait isn't demented a host on this where is demented he hasn't spoke one word and how many minutes are we into this we are now 15 minutes into this uh into this show and i've heard demented speak one time and he's a host get over it man i can't i can't with demented over because Leia tells me to. It's like I don't even like talk to Leia like that. Like I've mm -hmm. like she's not a friend. Like why am I gonna listen to her? Like she don't get to tell me who I associate with. Like I'm still gonna talk to Huge. You know, Leia is and that's awesome. The thing. Just she is like, a queen. I have, we stand Leia, and like I talk to him doesn't mean I agree with everything he does. Mm -hmm. And that's the same. It's like saying like he agrees with everything I do. It's like no, we're just we're just people that we that DM each other sometimes. You so know. Like, are, are you annoyed or angry, though, that people judge you based on your friendship with Hugin, then? Because, like, that is, like... Yeah, people I mean, that's constantly. the thing. It's not just, it's not just Hugin they do it with. They do it with anybody. Like, Slug, like... Like, I remember, yeah. which... I don't know, man. So why, which, I mean, um... Which, another... I'm gonna stop it there, guys. I, I'm gonna stop it there. For you guys to check it out, that's Wall Smashers. It's the second episode on Badwick Productions. Badwick's doing big things, man. 733 subscribers on YouTube alone. He's breaking down the walls on Kick. He's got a Twitch platform. I mean, the guy is absolutely everywhere. His Turd Island is taking the commentary community by storm. It is literally must-see uh, must streaming. And that is unique for 2023 for a community to rally around something like turd island for christ's sakes and it's really good stuff guys i'm telling you badwick is doing awesome stuff my only critique is where's demented this guy named himself spanky hancock got a whole new name and a whole new shtick yet in 15 minutes hasn't spoke one word um let alone huggy hasn't even got a chance to really speak yet uh, he said he was monotone in the beginning, which I understand. So maybe if you guys check out Wall Smashers Episode 2, eventually we'll hopefully hear Huggy and uh, Why So Demented, also known as Spanky Hancock. Interesting stuff. Uh, a road I wasn't planning on going down this morning, but I'm glad I did. Uh, I'm excited to see what that has to bring in the future. Uh, let's go to the news real quick, if you guys don't mind. Uh, just because... Why the hell not, right? Like, that's what we do. Let me just pull it up here. See what they got talking on the news. You think of the competition? Oh, there's plenty of it, I guess there is every year. All right, it looks like we're on ad break. So, uh, that if you nothing good going on in the news, so fuck that. Move around, you're going to be in big trouble. You're going to gain weight. So, with all that being said, guys, I think I've went on for, what is this, hour and six minutes? I think I'm going to call it a morning there. Um, there's always a bear on the news here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. <laughs> that was a pretty good mo moment, wasn't it, Paradox? I think I'm going to cut a short out of that um, and see what I can do with it. It was pretty funny. I got completely sidetracked the other morning. Uh, we were just sitting there in the middle of a story, and I saw a bear on the news. And completely... <laughs> completely braked the show put the brakes on just to go to the news for the the story with the bear and uh it was pretty funny uh but i think i'm gonna end it here guys i don't got much else to talk about i was amazed to hear though that jeremy hales is in a uh, pretty big trouble oh actually guys let's check the weather just because you know
I'm eager to hear what it's like outside. Steady rain for most of our counties. That'll sit with us over the next few hours. Temperatures already falling into the upper 30s in Washington. It's cold. Low 40s inland, mid 40s near the lakefront. So deep today, bundle up, have the umbrella. We could see some flurries this afternoon. The good Bucks, thing about snow. Though, I'm so sick of snow. We'll see more sunshine. It's just the temperatures will be chilly. Back in the upper 30s, heading into Sunday and the start of next week. Hi, Luna. Not a bear. There's a cat. What is that? I can't believe it. It's a German Shepherd here. in a tree. Well, if your dog ever that, goes that's missing, almost as good as a bear. Seriously, Paradox. The trees, There's a German Shepherd in a tree. I think that Luna, a good scare when she went missing. Her owners looked all what over the, the place, fuck? eventually spotting the pooch about 20 Aliens did it. feet above the ground. Surrounded by tree branches. How Luna was the got aliens, into this guys. situation remains a mystery. But her owners speculate she was chasing a squirrel. The dog was eventually chased a squirrel up a tree. Okay. Got access to a ladder. <laughs> that is. Long before the January 6th attack on the nation. The German Shepherd. Protesters stormed the, the Wisconsin fuck? state capitol. Senators, please return to the chambers so we can begin. As Republican Governor Scott Walker stripped most public workers of their power to collectively he did. bargain. Many of the state and local unions that All right, were guys. institutional <laughs> players. We're stopping it there. I'm getting too sidetracked here. By the way, guys, I love you. And it's Saturday, de December 9th. It is 9.01 a.m. And that is where I'm going to leave you guys. I love you. And uh, I'll see you all later.